Hello and welcome back to episode 5 Me playing as Arsenal I am God King Pepe Otherwise known as Pepe um, Bit of a silly name But uh, for those of you wondering Why I'm called God King Pepe I took the two biggest memes um, And just put them together So there was the meme of God King Trump That was going round And then there was Pepe the Frog um, going round, so I just put the two biggest memes together and just God King Pepe. But for the sake of this, let's just call me Pepe. Now, getting on with, getting on with uh, the um, the transfer market because it suddenly occurred to me we need a hell of a lot of players. Um, and we've got very little money to do it so we are going to just have to make some of these players available to move out now I've got a couple of left backs coming in really cheap um, which means if we can just have a look at every player um, in the under 23's Ilyev I'm not a fan of this guy so we're going to offer him to clubs um, and we're just going to see what comes in we're not going to put any fee on it um, we're just going to see um, if we get anything for him and his transfer status I'm going to put his transfer listed um, Carl Jenkinson right he's going into the senior squad we need him um, He's quite decent. Pleguezolo. Let's call him Julio. <laughs> um, he's a youngster. Um, so he's coming through. Uh, Zach Medley, again, youngster, 17. Looks decent. He's coming through. Um, Alobu, not so much. Daniel Ballard, looks half decent. He's coming through. So there are, there are players there, there are young players coming through. Um, let's have a look at Bowler. Um, yeah. Uh, now, Bielik, we can't recall any loan signings whatsoever. Which is a bit of a, you know, well, work permit expired. You're not eligible to apply for work permit. Uh, I think we're going to have to. Um, yeah, Let, let's, uh, let's keep Kalechi, yeah, um, so, we're gonna basically try and bump up the squad a little bit, um, now, this guy here, transfer st status, uh, listed, uh, we're gonna offer it to clubs, and I'm just gonna put unspecified, just see what bids come in for him. Um, Eddie and Ketia, we're gonna have him in the first team squad. Let's move him forward. Joe Willock, let's have a look at him. Centre mid. See, he's fast as well. 15, 17 acceleration, 15 pace. He's a good player. Uh, valued at 8 million, you know. Players which I genuinely think would benefit from um, loans. Hang on, Ben Sheaf. He's a steady Eddie, isn't he? Tackling 12, heading 12. Long shots 13. Acceleration 10, pace 10. You see, he could work on that. Um, who's he wanted by? Come on. He's wanted by a load of. League Two clubs, uh, Newport and Crawley, also League One in Accrington and Bur Burton and Luton, and Aberdeen up in Scotland. So I mean, I, I would let him go out on loan, you know. Um, but yeah, I think what we're going to do is we're pretty short um, on players, and I'm thinking we're going to have to move some of them on. Martinez um, 
reflexes 16, uh, handling 14, aerial uh, reach 15. Um, he's decent, and then you got David Ospina there. Um, his reflexes are better, but I th I think David Ospina, we've got to try and get out the club and um, just offer him out. I I don't see how we can keep him to be honest. Um, he's a reserve keeper. He's out on loan at the moment. If we can sell him whilst he's out on loan, that'd be brilliant. But I doubt it. Um, Cohen Bramall. Now he's getting <laughs> offered to clubs because the last time uh, we played this game, you remember we actually um, <laughs> he actually scored two goals, um, and he had a 9.2 out of 10 uh, game against our senior side and his you know physicals are really good but as a winger or left back his dribbling's 10 his crossing's 9 finishing 7 passing's 8 tackling 10 penalties 2 for crying out loud even I'm better than a 2 and <laughs> and you know <laughs> I just, I just don't think he's going to cut it. He's 22 year old. Time to let him go, I think. He's wanted by clubs, so good luck to him. Um, just have a look if there's anyone in your under 18s who need a work permit, because that would be shocking if there is. But I wouldn't put it past, uh, <laughs> wouldn't put it past us. Um, Ever moved from that position? Yeah, get him out. All right. Um, so we're going to go to the senior squad now, and we got Carl Jenkinson <laughs> at right back. We, we actually have a right back here, so uh, Swanson can go. He can go back to the uh, under 18s. I think he was at. Yeah, he's still there. Um, We've got Lichsteiner and Bellerin um, coming in there, so um, let's see. Let's see. Right back. We can't do nothing about Callum Chambers. He's he's gone for the season. So let's just move him to the under 23 right now because I don't even want to see his face till he's back playing. Um, now, as I said, we've got Ainsley, Maitland, Niles here. Now, he's developing. Um, but if we have a look at him, he's central midfield player normally. Um, a Mazella. Um, and that's that's probably his best position. I'm I'm gonna he's he's probably gonna want to kill me for saying this if he ever hears it, but he's a bit like Phil Neville. Um, <laughs> he's too good at several positions uh, to actually be nailed down in one. So he can play the fullback positions. Um, he could probably even do a job out wide for you. Um, good dribbling at 13 and first touch 14. He's decent, you know. Uh, pace 15 acceleration 17 he's a good player but he's obviously um, a midfield player so what we're going to do is um, we're going to look at his development look at his training and I think we're going to keep him um, he's a natural Mazella um, he's good at supporting, he's good at attacking um, and that's the position he's he, you know see he's, he's playing position centre mid here so it's a case of where do we need him to be better where can he help us a little bit more um, where do we want to train him and to be frank that's probably his best position 
but his advanced playmaker there is quite weak so he's learning that at the moment so if we just get him um, working on what's he need to work on um, I think if we get him working on finishing that might help him because he's eight at the moment um, or you know so that would be the final third um, a crossing as well maybe attacking movement I mean if he's um, your assistant is currently in control of individual training you want to change the setting um, not for the all individual training no just for this guy training for a month see he's going to be working on attacking movement whilst being an advanced playmaker um, and that's when he comes back so he's expected to be out for three to four months so it's just an example because we can't use him unless he's you know got really fast crutches um, <laughs> but he's uh, it's just little things like this that you can do to improve your players um, you would do them if you're uh, gonna manage the team for like two three years because uh, this is one year we're not gonna bother with that on uh, this game this particular game now Mohamed El Nani I think is a decent midfield player for us um, I think you know as box to box midfielder he's quite good deep line playmaker um, he's alright he's decent um, but I've got a sneaky feeling yeah he's been transfer listed and we don't want that because we should probably keep him he's worth 19 million as well um, ah squad selection rules the squad must have at least eight players trained by a club in England currently six registered right um, <sighs> things aren't going my way are they um, what are we gonna do <laughs> we'll offer him to clubs then yeah confirm it offer the clubs unspecified Sorry, Mohammed. I like you. Sadly, <laughs> this game doesn't. Um, Nacho Monreal. Good left back. And you got Said Klasnic. Um It would be interesting to just compare these two. Now, we can't do anything about his injury, but. Um, find similar players uh, no 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 hang on player comparison with where's Monreal Monreal there we go so they're even when it comes to vision technical and aerial but Monreal's better at mental and defending and attacking. However, Kolasinac is a little bit quicker and more physical. Um, now Monreal's 32 year old, and with the two left backs we've got now, I actually think um, we can afford to let Monreal go. So we're going to offer him to clubs because we need to raise funds and we need to bring down the wage budget as well in order to get a couple of players in um, and the other thing we need to do um, is to try and um, bring in a couple of English trained players um, ready for registration now Granite Jacker a polarising player for Arsenal right 
His passing is 19. That alone keeps him at the club. I'll tell you that now. But his pace is 11, his acceleration is 11, and his tackling is 11. He's a red card waiting to happen. <laughs> and I think quite a few Arsenal fans will tell you that as well. Um, but I think he's, you know, a decent player we're going to keep. Um, I think we have to keep him. Um, Alex Awobi, another polarising player, but again, you know, good technique, good passing, dribbling, could improve on finishing, good agility and acceleration and pace. He's a decent player, you know, um, and he's one of the homegrown players as well, I think. Mezu Ozil. Right, I'm going to do what most Arsenal people wouldn't do. Um, I'm going to offer him to clubs. Because he's such a nightmare to get into a position um, where you can use him. You know, he, he doesn't do enough. And frankly, I think we're better off without him. I'd rather have a player, um, you know, who like a Bamiyang or Lacazette and Welbeck in my front three than Ozil, because you know these three are going to score goals, and you know they're going to work hard. And you got Eddie and Ketty there ready to come through as well. Um, so I actually. I think the best thing to do is to sell Mesut Ozil. Uh, Reese Nelson, until he comes back, we don't want to see him. He's a good player, but, you know, um, he's not with us, so we'll get shut. Dennis Suarez is there, and um, Stefan Lichsteiner. I don't think we need him. I think he's on the decline. Great determination. But if we can get money for a 34 year old, um, let's do it. Because, you know, he's on 75 grand a week as well. Um, and I think it's probably the best thing to do just to get him out of the club. Um, and we can actually um, play Bellerin. Um, and when Maitland Niles comes back in an emergency, we could play him there. But I think we could. We've also got Carl Jenkinson as understudy to Bellerin. So we don't actually need Lichsteiner. Um, you know, because you've got Bellerin as your first choice, Jenkinson second choice, Maitland Niles in an emergency. So that's, that's what I think we're going to do with regards to transfers out. Transfers in? Well, you're going to have to watch episode 6. Um, so come back for the next one and let's see what we can do with transfers in.